Hi, today's problem is two pure breeding plants for yellow and green seeds, respectively, are crossed to produce F1 offspring with yellow peas. This are crossed to produce 42 plants with yellow peas and 14 plants with green peas. If you did a test cross with 42 plants that produce yellow peas, what proportion of those plants would you expect to produce some offspring with green peas? Because this is simple Mendelian genetics uh, here, two alleles can control the color of the seeds and that means that we can get um, three type of genotypes. One can be homozygous dominant, another can be heterozygous and the last one can be homozygous recessive. And as you see here we are told that two pure breeding plants for yellow and green seeds are crossed to produce F1 offspring with yellow peas. So which one uh, genotype is which? So because uh, pure breeding stands for the such plants that when we self-pollinate would produce a stable results. So if we self-pollinate for example plant with uh, white flowers in the F1 generation we would find only um, white flowers in the offspring and we wouldn't find any other color so this trait wouldn't segregate and of course when we self-pollinate this type of genotype with the same genotype so we uh, cross homozygous dominant with homozygous dominant there is only one type of gametes that can be produced capital A and we wouldn't see segregation the same rule applies here but here if we self-pollinate uh, plants of this type we would see a segregation in the next generation so uh, that means that pure breeding plants can belong only to this type and this type so can be homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive but not heterozygous so uh, which uh, color stands for which type because in the F1 offspring all uh, peas we see as yellow that means that this homozygous dominant stands for the yellow color and homozygous recessive stands for the green color and of course uh, heterozygous would be phenotypically yellow too so uh, what we got in our first uh, step we crossed uh, this parent with this parent so we crossed homozygous dominant with homozygous recessive and our results were all the offspring were heterozygous those uh, these parents are of the different colors the offspring were of the same color yellow color so as you see according to our problem when we cross these two pure breeding plants uh, we got F1 offspring with yellow peas so this is our F1 generation and uh, all the F1 generation would be phenotypically yellow so next step these are crossed to produce 42 plants with yellow peas and 14 plants with green peas so we have uh, this uh, next step to cross this F1 generation in order to get F2 generation so what we did we cross these two parents or we self pollinated and in the F2 generation we are going to get capital A capital A here and heterozygous here and homozygous recessive here so three out of four would be phenotypically yellow and one quarter would be phenotypically green and ratio would be uh, three to one 
So uh, the next question is, if you did a test cross with uh, 42 plants that produced yellow peas, what proportion of those plants would you expect to produce some offspring with green peas? So uh, we told that there are 42 plants that is yellow, so 42, and 14 that is green, 14, and 42 and 14 is uh, the same ratio as 3 to 1. So if we multiply 14 three times, we are going to get 42. So the ratio would be 1 to 3. 14 greens and 42 yellows. But as you see here, uh, those plants that is yellow, not uh, all of them uh, genetically uniform. Two out of three would be heterozygous and one out of three would be homozygous dominant. In other words, uh, out of this 42 yellow plants, we would have um, one third that is going to be homozygous dominant and two thirds that is going to be heterozygous, so capital A, small a. And with our last step we have to decide uh, what proportion out of these 42 plants can produce plants with green seeds. So what is a test cross? Test cross meaning that we use um, on one hand uh, plants of unknown genotype. So as you see out of this 42 uh, plants some would be homozygous dominant and some would be heterozygous. And visually we cannot separate them. And if we don't know uh, what the genotype of the plants we have to use a test cross and test cross uh, means that we are using a phenotype of known genotype and this would be this uh, plants that produce green seeds and we know that green seeds only can be of one genotype that is small a small a but yellow can be of the homozygous dominant and heterozygous so we cannot use yellow, uh, plants that produce yellow seeds as test cross. We only can use these um, plants that produce green seeds because we know genotype that is going to be homozygous recessive and so we can predict the results of the test cross. So of course if we test cross this genotype with this genotype and this is what we have here, all the offspring would be yellow with yellow seeds and if we cross this genotype with this genotype this is what we are going to get so parent 1 would be heterozygous and parent 2 would be homozygous recessive or this would be our test cross and as you see we are going to get results as follows. So here we would have capital A small a, small a small a here, capital A small a here and small a small a here. So as you see 50% would be uh, yellow offspring if we cross these two parents and 50% would produce uh, plants with green seeds. And let's uh, read our question one more time. If you did a test cross with uh, 42 plants that produce yellow peas, what proportion of those plants would you expect to produce some offspring with green peas? And as you see, uh, only this genotype can produce uh, when we cross with a test cross can produce um, some of the offspring or 50% uh, that is going to be plants with green seeds. So our answer would be 2 
thoughts. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.